this is a house tour of a home I built for my marriage sim and their teenage daughter. Um, they have an older son, but he don't live at home. So this is their new house. It comes with a two-car garage. And I love that little new tree that you can swing on, too. Um, I know the new gating area also. I think that gating area comes with the farm update. I'm not sure. But a little pool coming in the back. But you don't have to put a pool. You can put anything you want in the back. Um, you can add extra rooms onto the house or whatever you want to create. But um, that's just something I want to do. So I hope you guys like it. Um, we're going to get started with the garage. Um, like I said, it is a two-car garage. Two cars can fit in the garage. But at the moment, I don't have two in there. I have one in there and one outside in the driveway. Um, so when we first come in, I have the trash cans. Then I have some tires on the wall. I have a workstation and I have more tools on the wall and a ladder. And then I have the shoveling stuff for like doing the snow time in that area. Um, that's the mom car and the one in the driveway is the dad car. Um, and you also can enter the house from that way, but we're going to go to the front area. When you come to the front area, I have two plants and a mat. Um, you come in the entryway, I have a little chair, a little stand with a flower on it, a mirror so you can get that last glimpse of yourself before you leave out. And I also have a coat rack on the other side of the wall, which you'll see. Um, sorry, it's been a while since I did a video, so I'm a little rusty with my angles um but that door leads you into the study um i did the white and the pine computer in this room with the pine file cabinets and i also did one of the white rotary telephones and the white printer and i did the exposed brick in here um i like those rugs i call them tribal rugs i use two of those just to kind of cover the floor um i did the white lounge chair with the gray pillows and i did the desert oasis white fireplace and like i said i love the catacorn fireplace so whenever i can use them no matter which one i use it but i tend to use the white one more but yeah i love them um then it brings you into the great room of the house in here i did the walnut panel on the floor it's just like the accent wall in here but um the flower is kind of new i like this fireplace i like just because of the simple fact it looked like it has like stuff on top of the fireplace like different pictures like a normal home would have i do like that i use a black nursery chair with that i use one of those old palm tree plants there um i use the l-shaped sofa the one of those black bookshelves and i use the, the walnut tv um i only get that at architect houses so that's in my inventory i don't have that in my build mode um that's the rustic picture frames i use that and the reason why i use that because i use the wedding bell picture frames and they both have like the, the black frames around i thought that was cute that's the stereo from the mid-century update i use that now let's put two chairs on either side of it just to make it look more cozy like if you want to sit down and listen to some music in here so that's mainly it for this room this room can lead you into the dining room or into the piano room we'll say and we'll go to the piano room in here it's called the piano room because it's the only thing here it's a piano i did use the brown leaf wallpaper as accent walls on either side and i did do the walnut coastal paintings on the other side just so it won't be too plain but that's basically it and this room leads you back to the mud room that leads you to the garage in the mud room i did that brown and black bench i'm trying to get to it it just i'm kind of rusty um the brown and black bench on one side and then there's a door on the other side that leads you into the laundry room the laundry room is beige and orange and green i did a iron board in there and i did two of the green washer and dryer set and i put in the picture because i feel like the picture tie everything's in and i use a green towel as the accent wall too in that room okay so coming back through the piano room um it leads you to three doors um if we go to the door straight ahead this takes us into the main bathroom of the house in this bathroom i have the sink i have like a little pine shelf and i have the floating pine shelves over the toilet i have one of those nice pine toilets and i hang one plant in the wall and i use the white shiplap boards in here and then in this little cutout we got the shower and a tile rack and i use the spa shower no i i use the other shower my bed not the spa one the little catacorn shower 
Um, this is the first guest room. This would have been a summer room, but like I said, he don't live here. Um, this room, I used the peach walls with the spoke brick. I used the pine dress again, and I used the uh, rose gold mirrors ahead of it. I used the pine bed with the coastal pine pictures on the wall. I used the pine nightstands. And I like those two lamps. I don't know what update it came from, but I used that. And I used two more rows in the floor that kind of tie everything in together. I like that exposed brick because I like I got the green and the peach kind of put all into it. I feel like it ties everything together. And I used some of those old wall plants with the gold brackets. So I think that's cute. Now this takes us to the teenage daughter room. Her room is peach and like a pretty orange color. Um, I realized I use the same bed for her as I used in my last teenage room room which is crazy because they're friends so i usually try to have everybody room different but whatever so we use this room i guess i like the colors um i use flowers on either side of her bed i use the little picture frames that kind of go with the room i use the blush color desk the peach wardrobe and i put her a little travel case in there because i do travel but um yeah pretty simple i use two of the flowers in her room and i thought it looked real cute and cozy and bright for a girl now we'll go back through and go to the kitchen and dining room. And the dining room is a pretty huge dining room. It can seat 10, um, but it's only a family of four, actually. Um, I use this with the black chairs. I use the newer wallpaper we do have. And I use the coastal pine, coastal countertops in here. I forgot the name of the island, but I used that because the front of it is like a pine color. So I thought it matched. And I like how the top is gray. Um, I used a black stove, black fridge. I did have a black stove too, but I think it's only like one star. And I needed three to cook certain things, so I changed it. This is a master bedroom. The master bedroom is mainly gray and like black and white, you can say. Um, I used a king size bed. I used a gray nightstands that come with. I used our old gray dresser that come with. And, of course, I put the mirrors over there the silver ones um i use a big screen tv i put some of the gray chairs in there i use the black and gray rug um i use the black the gray panel mixed around with the marble black and white to kind of change the room up a little bit like i look i did add a pop of color so i did the blue um in here in the bathroom i did the silver with um kind of pine color and i just love how that mirror goes over that sink i just think it looks so cute together and it ties all in the wood and the grays and silver all together. So I really look how it looks. But I use the spa shower in here. I know I use a spa shower somewhere. And in here is like a little small walk-in closet. Nothing too big. Just a black and white wardrobe in that area. And that's actually it for the whole house. Um, like I said, I got a pool area in the back. But you don't have to have a pool. You can do a patio. Add more rooms if you want. But um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys like it. But I'm going to put it in BMO so you can copy it. So just let me know, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.